we now consider the binary code as numbers. In previous videos, we considered the role of digital networks for managing data flow. This is probably the most important use of digital technology in our time. We now consider a more traditional role of digital systems, that is, for numeric computation. An important idea for computation is that a string of bits can now be used to represent a number within a number system. We are all very familiar with the use of symbols to represent numerical values. It is therefore worth recognizing that there are many number systems in use, some more familiar than others. There are many possible binary number systems. The one most commonly used is simply called the binary counting system. This system is used because it most closely resembles our own decimal system in terms of the logical process or algorithm used for counting. In this system, the leftmost bit, called the most significant bit, carries the greatest weight in the numerical value. The rightmost bit, called the least significant bit, carries the least weight. Zero is represented by a full string of zeros. Counting begins by incrementing the least significant bit. When this bit achieves its highest value, that is 1, that bit resets to 0, and the next bit is incremented. This process is repeated. When a string of least significant bits of any length becomes filled with ones, that string of bits resets to zero and the next bit increments to one. This continues until all of the bits are one. The number in which all the bits are one is therefore the highest number of the counting sequence. For a binary number consisting of n bits, the total number of count values, including 0, is 2 raised to the power of n. In our example of 4-bit numbers, our binary sequence consists of 16 counts. This table shows the equivalent of each count in our familiar decimal system. I have placed the decimal values in quotation marks to remind us that this symbolic representation is no more real than the binary representation. In fact, in digital electronics, the binary system is physically more real, since the zeros and ones are actually present as a sequence of high and low voltages. Another system that is used in digital electronics is the hexadecimal system. This system uses alphanumeric symbols for the first 16 counts. The hexadecimal system is used by human users to help recall binary strings. This is because to convert a binary string to hexadecimal, it is easy to break the binary string into four bit parts and code each part individually. This results in a code that is much easier to remember. Two further points about numeric coding. First, there are many possible numeric codes, including many that do not follow a counting sequence. Note, however, that the number of distinct values will always be constrained by the number of bits. This has important implications for computing since the result of a computation involving two or more of these values may not be representable in the system used. Technically, this may result in one of two types of error. A numeric overflow occurs when the result falls outside the range of values spanned by the number system. A rounding error occurs 
when the computed value falls between representable values in the system. The second point. For binary counting, when the highest count is achieved, it is common to revert to the lowest value after the next count. This is called modulo counting. For modulo counting, the modulo number, in this case 16, is the number of distinct counts. In modulo counting, the values are often presented in a circular state diagram. The process of counting up would then refer to counting in one direction around the circle. Counting down would be in the opposite direction.